hey there everyone welcome to another video of fox android so this video will be in continuation with our uh, real time database series right so in the last video we have learned how to write the data to the real time database right so in case you haven't seen that video already make sure to watch that video first by clicking on this i button or in case you know that how to write the data to the real time database then you can continue with this video as well so in this video we'll learn that how to read data from the real time database right so we have written the data to the database we have learned that and we have successfully implemented that into our android application in the same application today we'll learn that how to fetch that data from the server right so hey if you can see on my mobile screen i have made this sample screen where there is this uh, edit text input field in which says that username so we need to enter the username in this field and below that there are uh, three columns right first name last name and age sorry three rows so when i enter any username for example if you can see here there are three username chris dina joshua and sammy so if i enter any username in my mobile screen for example if i write chris m right and i click read data so you can see successfully read Chris Morris 30. So that is the data that is there. So if I enter another username, for example, Joshu and click read data. So Joshua Jordan age is 34. So this is what we'll be getting by the end of this video, right? By the end of this video, your concept about reading the data from the real time database will be created. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So here you can see that I have already designed this screen the data screen right so I am not gonna do this in this tutorial because that is not what we are here for right. So the main thing that we need to know is that we have this uh, edit text field id of which is et username from where we'll get the username from the user that he'll enter right then we have this text view where uh, it's adjacent to first name right so the idea of that is tv first name where we'll feed the data for the first name that will retrieve from a real-time database right then we have last name and age so in these three rows we'll be feeding the data once we read the data from the real-time database right now I'll just go to, to the Java code. So here first we'll define the binding reference variable, right? So I'll just call it as binding only. So I've already explained this that why we are using this in the last tutorial. So if you do not know about this concept, then you can check my video on view binding. So I'm using the concept of view binding for those who doesn't know about it. So I have made a full dedicated video on this. You can check out that video. So I have uh, declared two variables. One is the binding class variable and another is for the database reference, right? So now we'll create an object of our binding class. So now we'll set the on click listener on our button. So inside this button, we will get the username entered by the user, right? So we'll store that into this string variable. So binding dot et username dot get text and we'll convert it to a string, right? So now we'll check that if username is not empty, then we'll call a method read data and we'll pass the username right so don't worry about it we haven't created this method yet we'll just create in a second else we'll raise a toast 
which says that please enter a username right so okay now we'll create this method so inside this method we'll get the reference of our database right so firebase database We'll get the instance of that and we get the reference for our users node right so let me explain so we got the reference for this node so reference dot child and we'll pass the username here dot get and we'll set the on click uh, on complete listener on this right so uh, with this line of code we got the reference of the users node and then we got the child and pass the username that is entered by the user so for example if user enters this chris m so we'll get this document right this node complete data of chris m right so we'll get that so inside this so we'll get the data in the form of a task so now we'll check that if task is successful right so we'll do certain things else we'll raise a toast to let the user know sorry failed to read right because we failed to read the data so now if the task is successful that we have got that means that we have got something inside our uh, task right so now we'll check if task dot get result exists right so what this will ensure is that uh, we have got something in the data right so the document the data we have got is not null so when this case will arise for example we have these four entries right chris sam dina joshua and sammy for example someone enters some other name some random name for example xyz but that does not exist inside our users node right so we will not get anything in task it will be successful because we have got these results but it will be empty it will be null so this if statement will make sure that we have got something inside the result right so here also we'll raise a toast which will say dot this user does not exist right because it simply means that user does not exist that's why we have got null in the result so now if everything is okay that means we have got the result so first we'll raise a toast dot this successfully read I think I have done a typo. Right. Never mind. So now we'll get the data into our data snapshot. I'll just simply write it as data snapshot only. You can give it a name, whatever you want to do. Okay, task dot get result so now we have got the snapshot of the data that means we have got this snapshot right inside our uh, data snapshot variable so now what we'll do is we'll store the first name string dot value of data snapshot dot child 
just give me a second i'll explain what we have done okay so inside data snapshot so data snapshot re represent this whole snapshot right for a single entity so now we have further told him to get us the value of first name so the key is first name will get the value for this key so the first name is uh, this one right so we'll get chris when we pass this we'll get chris so we'll retrieve all the things right the first name last name and the age so we'll be following the same method okay guys we have got all the three entities that we want first name last name and age inside these string variables right so now what we'll do is we'll feed our text views with this data so db first name dot set text and we'll pass first name right so binding dot tv last name dot set text as the last name and binding dot sorry h dot set text and we'll pass h so now we have got the data and we have fed that data to our text views right so that is all we need to do to get the data from the real-time database right so i guess we are pretty much done with everything now let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and then we'll see if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen and i have done one more change that is inside this manifest file so i have declared the red data as the launching uh, activity right the main activity that will launch once we open the app so i've just passed the intent filter right inside this red data so that is all i have done so now let me just go to our this real-time database data so let me expand all of these so if i if i just enter a username uh, for example let me enter diana this time right so if i just press hit data so here you can see diana riverage and age is 25 so for example if i does not enter anything and press read data so please enter username right so if i just enter anything random for example xyz and i press read data user does not exist so we have handled all the cases that are there right so and we have successfully read the data from the real-time database and i hope that you guys have understood the code and now you can implement the same into your android application right but still in case you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now and i'll also put the link for the source code of this app into the description below right you can just go to that link and check out the source code if you want to and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. See you in another video. Bye.